can start off introducing yourself, uh, where you live, and what the hell you're doing working at Corker. <laughs> <laughs> so my name's Henry and I live in Matfield. Yeah. And I work at Corker's and I help out with media content and uh, just general office work really. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so you found out you got um, Frederick's Ataxia. Yep. Yeah. Um, tell us which restricts you from walking, so you're currently in a wheelchair. Tell us life before you got diagnosed with a disease, when you were 16, you know, when you, you know, tell us about your life previously. Yeah, so being in a before I started noticing that I was getting problems, I was living a normal life really. Yeah. I had bikes and motorbikes, stuff like that. I used to go out with my friends all the time, just normal life. And then when I was about 16, 17, I woke up one day and had a really bad backache. And uh, so I went to the doctors and he told me that I was in walking properly. So he sent me for loads of different tests. I went up to London to go to King's College, I had loads of tests there. And I found out that I had a small fracture in the spine. And um, one of the doctors there told me that was nothing to do with my walking. And he, I basically hit, that was the end of that one really. I had, it's been about five years. I'd just been seeing those different doctors going, going through every single possibility really. Getting passed around. Yeah, I, yeah. All right, so then, um, so then this year, how old are you now? So I'm 22 now. 22, so last year, was it? No, it was this year, I was, when I was 21. Yeah. They, I was sent to doctors in London who specialise in ataxia. Yeah, so just explain what ataxia is. So ataxia is a disease that affects your nervous system. Yeah. And basically, gradually over time, it gets worse and worse. And how many people does that affect? So it affects one in 100,000 in the UK. So you're quite a unique person. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you got you went up to see a specialist in London and what was our advice, what did they say? He, when when I went to see him, he was definitely certain that I had some sort of ataxia. Yeah. But it's loads of different kinds of ataxia. And the only way to find out which one I had was to have a genetics test, which is a blood test. And then it takes about five, four months to come back. Yeah. And it came back and I had Friedrich's ataxia. And there's no cure for it to us. No cure. Okay. So how did you, when you found out, so all these years, five years has been going yeah. on when you didn't know what you had, you didn't know what disease you had, yeah. they told you it was a copper deficiency, they told you it was this, yeah. how did you feel when you got that news? Well... Uh, <laughs> did you go on Google and start Googling it? Yeah, I went on Google, <coughs> Googling it, just to find out if there was any sort of vitamins I could take to help it yeah. and stuff like that. And there are a few things I can take which just help it and some of them relieve symptoms of the taxi. Mm. So when you found out, how did you feel? Did you feel a little bit shocked that you yeah, just so been diagnosed with taxi? Or did you sort of know that something like that, it was going to be something like that along the lines? So when I found out, I was sort of relieved, but <coughs> yeah. I was a bit shocked to find out that it was it was Friedrich's taxi, yeah. and that it's well, no it's quite rare, if yeah, it's quite see. rare. So there's no sort of there's no sort of like cure for it or anything. No. So you've now been diagnosed. Yep. Um, we've got a GoFundMe yes. account running. So I've got a GoFundMe. Yes, GoFundMe. <laughs> So tell us why you're raising money and what you're doing and your outlook and your your plans for the future, basically. So I've basically started a guy fund me, yeah. which is helping me fund for a new wheelchair. Because the wheelchair that I've got at the moment is quite bulky and I can't I can't go to places on my own. So I have to have someone with me to get the wheelchair out of the boot. Yeah. And the new one which I'm raising money for will allow me to put it in my car myself. I could just go up to the driver's seat, get in, and then I'll uh, dismantle it and put it on my passenger seat. 
for the seat behind me and I can just go to places on myself and it'll give me more independence. <coughs> Alright, so where are you now with the fun with the fundraising? How so how much are you trying to raise? You're trying to raise four thousand. Yeah, so I'm trying, to, what are you trying at now? to raise four thousand. And at the moment I'm at two thousand two hundred. Yeah. So just tell us then what it means to you if anyone can please donate. Um, no, just tell us what it means. So if anyone does donate, it would mean it would mean so much to me because I I, I do work, but I only work a certain amount of days a week because I, I struggle with um, tiredness and stuff. Like that. And uh, I can't, I can't really raise the money myself. It would take me so long. Mm. And uh, if I could have that wheelchair, it would allow me to do so much more things myself. Mm.